Hey guys, what's going on? Zach Campbell here at Fenway Park in Boston. And I love this stadium so much that this is the third different time this season that I've driven up here from my home in New York. And all right, the Orioles are here, tremendous matchup. The weather is a bit iffy, so hopefully there is batting practice. And I have a seat tonight in such a cool spot, great place to watch the game and to potentially catch a home run, so get ready for that. And last thing for right now before I head inside, why don't you give the lovely people of YouTube a view of that sign? And here I am out in right field. They were really blasting the music, but anyway, you can see me take off right here for a long home run. I don't know who hit it, but it barely went over my head and took a huge bounce, actually a couple of bounces, about 20 rows into the bleachers. So I was able to track that one down. And then back down in front, I handed that ball to a kid and just listen to this. That's the side they don't want to show. <laughs> hey Zach, that's the side they don't want to show, man. Unbelievable. I wish I got that on, on video. Don't worry, my man. My videographer got it on video, and the haters are still going to hate. But anyway, here's a home run. I thought I might be able to catch it. And nope, it fell short just by that much. So here is Emmanuel Valdez at the plate, hitting balls to the wrong side of the stadium. And by the way, the entire stadium was not yet open at this point, only the outfield. So that's why the seats in foul territory are totally empty. So this dude right here is named Matt Noon. He is very cool. He happens to be the head coach at Babson College, and he helps out the Red Sox by throwing left-handed batting practice. And so here's another home run. I start taking off for it. There were some guys in the walkway, so I went behind them, didn't think it was gonna go that deep. And sure enough, they caught it right in front of me. And so keep your eye on this dude right here, exiting off to the right of the screen. He kind of unexpectedly threw me a ball, so you can see my reaction after. I was like, what? So here's a better look at him. His name is Oscar Rangel. He's a minor league catcher in the Red Sox organization and on the taxi squad. So. He was getting to hang out here at Fenway. That's Charlie Madden, the bullpen catcher, making that play. And we can see our man Rangel out there in left center field, catching one and chucking it back to the bucket. And so in the cage right here is Willier Abreu cranking one. So I started running, but you can see that I slowed down because, well, that one wasn't even close. And here's a fun fact for you. The color of the walls here is actually patented and it's called Fenway Green. I'm not sure if I've mentioned that before, but now you know. And so Red Sox BP was done. The Orioles were starting to come out and get loose. And I was just chilling and things got pretty quiet after that. How do you get from here to Brighton? Mr. Ben Carhart! How we doing? Yogi! Dude, you're crushing it. I know, our team is I love it. It's so great. Also, I have a surprise for you. Not with you right now, though. I have a Felix ball for you. Oh my god! I got my hand on Holy crap! So. There was a retirement ceremony, or I guess they inducted Felix into right the into the Mariners, Mariners Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame yep. at T-Mobile. Was that a few weeks ago, right? Yes, uh, two and a half, three weeks ago. Yeah, I, I wasn't able to make it, but this guy is the man, and I texted him and I was like, bro, they're using these balls for one game only. Yes. If there is any way that you can get one. Yeah, that was a really good night. So Ben is the guy that hooked me up with one of those Lou Gehrig baseballs which are truly impossible to get because they weren't even used in games. Yeah. They were just made as like ceremonial first pitch balls with the big logo. Yeah, and they came to a few of the people that showed up, yeah. Incredible, so the real MVP right here. No way. You know, you might think it's, you know, Adley or Gunner or one of those guys, <laughs> oh but my gosh. real MVP of the Orioles right here. <laughs> ben Carhart, everybody. Oh, <laughs> want to see what we bring to our bullpen now? Yes. Yeah, Felix Bautista bobblehead. Oh! That travels with you guys? It travels with us ever since he went on the interface. Mr. Ben Carhart, great chatting. Zach, it's always a pleasure, my friend. All right, may the baseballs be flying today. Yes, flying right to your mid. Thank you, sir. <laughs> yes.
baseballs so the numbers are creeping up little by little four total and then the Orioles have a bunch of guys who can crush the ball that's part of why I wanted to be here to see the Orioles because I feel like there are going to be lots of home runs not just during BP but hopefully during the game so I'm not even sure who's in the second group but I got to turn my attention back to the field like the final group, all right-handed batters. So I think right field is useless and I'm gonna hang out here. choice but I was kind of stupid once I got there unfortunately and I got distracted and I was begging for a toss-up on the warning track and missed the one home run that landed right near me in an empty row so yeah that was pretty unfortunate would have liked to catch some home runs out there but listen I still did all right today six total baseballs so I don't think double digits is gonna happen for my second consecutive game, but I'll definitely take it. And for right now, I'm actually gonna get up onto the Green Monster. No, that's not where I'm sitting for the game, but just hanging out with a friend who has access there. So gonna wander a bit and then settle into my seat back in this area for the game itself. Uh, yeah, my name is Gregor Barczyk. I work for the Red Sox. This is my friend Zach Campbell, who has come to Fenway once again in 2023 to uh, see if he can get some baseballs and hopefully bring some good luck for the Red Sox. I just want to point out, Zach, that there's a place that you have not yet tried to get a baseball here in Fenway, and it is over there on the roof of the Lansdowne Garage. Now, if you look over there, you will notice that there are a couple of baseballs over there. I'm here to tell you that 
You are not allowed to get on the roof of the Land Sound Garage under any circumstances. Well, then why would you even point out that there are baseballs there? That's like holding meat over a crocodile's mouth and being like, you can't have this. That's exactly right. So am I getting the right reaction out of you? There is a yeah. baseball that Zach Campbell cannot reach. <laughs> yes, that's true. I'm being trolled by yeah, the front office. Mic, mic drop, that's it. Boom, done. a hot and muggy night here at Fenway and we're through the first two innings with no score actually top of the third right now with two outs and you can see where I am just briefly at the very back of the center field seats just to chat with you guys here because yeah it's packed I don't want to annoy my neighbors down in the front row but you know this is a good spot well not this but that's a good spot to catch home runs there's room in the walkway and of course, two years ago here in the postseason, I caught two home runs there in one game. So hoping for a little more of that magic. But I don't like this early pitcher's duel. So yeah, let's hope it changes soon. Well, that was a blast right there to right field Ryan O'Hearn, a solo shot actually pretty close to where I'm going to be sitting tomorrow. Yes, I'll be back. And so top of the fourth, Orioles are up one to nothing. And if you hear me having a conversation at all in some of the clips in this video, well, it's with these fine folks right here, my seatmates. They're very cool. And... Yeah, good hanging with you guys. This is your second game ever at Fenway? Yep. And your first? We're doing it up. So, where's the beer? It's gone. It's gone. He, he says he's going to be too drunk to catch home runs by the middle innings, and we're pretty much there right now. More beer.
This pitcher's duel is rolling right along, top of the sixth inning. The Orioles are winning one to nothing. And yet, despite that, there's still a whole lot of action in their bullpen. And by the way, Grady here was asking me when they cut off beer sales. And I was like, I don't know, I, I guess after, yeah, drink up. After like two hours or so. So, I mean, you should probably get on that and get another one. You guys, I did it. I jinxed the pitcher's duel. The Orioles just scored three runs, chased the Red Sox starter from the game, and they have the bases loaded right now. So I should probably, you know, put this on my hand. By the way, Kyle Bradish, the Orioles starter, is dealing five innings, no runs, one hit, and he's faced just one batter over the minimum. So very impressive. Yeah, that's what happens when a ball gets tossed up into the crowd and chaos ensues. That's like that's like four dollars worth of beer right there. Seven. Seven? Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> top eight right now. O's are up five to two. So not a whole lot of ball game remaining. That's so weird. There were some close calls tonight here at Fenway, or at least some close-ish calls, but no home run luck for me. That one was a triple by Gunnar Henderson, who then scored on a wild pitch to give the Orioles a five-run lead. And the Red Sox were very much out of this game, but you'd never know it based on the energy from the crowd during Sweet Caroline. And okay, you want to see something amazing? In the bottom of the eighth, Rafael Devers crushed a deep line drive to right field, and oh my God, Ryan McKenna made that ridiculous catch, and just look at the Orioles' bullpen reacting. That was nuts, and because I know you guys want to see it, here I am reacting. And man, the Orioles absolutely poured it on in the top of the ninth. They kept getting guys on base and pushing them across. Overall, they picked up three walks and three singles that inning and scored four more runs. And in the bottom of the ninth, yeah, not exactly a whole lot to speak of. 
and this game that I've been complaining about being a pitcher's duel as late as the sixth inning, well, it turned into a laugher with the Orioles winning it 11 to two. Three home runs in this game. Connor Wong launched one over the Green Monster onto Lansdowne Street. Adley Rutschman hit one down the right field line. Ryan O'Hearn reached the right field seat. So no action for me in center field, but it was still such a fun night. I got six baseballs total, gave a bunch away, but they all count for the lifetime total. You need me to leave? All right, we're gonna walk and talk if I can find my bag. Hold on, hold on, we're doing it. So those six balls brings the lifetime total to 12,335. So yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, like I said, I'll be back tomorrow and I'll be sitting out there in right field. So still another chance to catch a home run here. Um, that's it, good night, sir. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Mwah.